one first of all i want to thank all of you who responded to the survey both the one that i sent out the email and the one that's here in the channel it was actually quite beneficial uh, for me to understand a bit better what it is that you struggle with and what i can do to help you better two topics closely related came up as the front runners technical exercises and technical analysis of specific excerpts now to test if this format will work uh, for you i've decided to publish a behind the scene video that i recorded in response to a question from uh, a student of mine the subject in question is an excerpt from the overshoot to mojo to manage a figure uh, this is an unabridged version totally unscripted of course and it also includes ems and us in between Please do let me know in the comments what you think and if this is something along with what you guys had in mind. So let's uh, uh, go back uh, to the pum pum parira rira pum pum. One way to do it. Pum pum parira pum pum parira rira pum pum parira pum pum. So if you break it down, you conduct one, two, then you stop. Tarira. Stop. Do nothing on the bar after that. Then you do again. One, two, and nothing the bar after that. So you just stand still. And then one, two. Parira. Nothing the bar after that. And then basically you take again conducting to charge up the dynamic on bar 17, and eight, on bar 81. When you look at it, just these few bars <coughs> all together, they become pum pum parira pum pum nothing pum pum parira um pa 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 pi pa pa pi pa pi pa pum parira rira riram parira rira riram parira rira riri ra rira riri parira rira um pa parira rira um pa ri parira rira ri pa pi pa pi pa pi pa pi pa pi pa pi pa and so forth <coughs> so the the bottom line is uh, if you don't need a hand for a specific reason don't use it there's no point in just keep doing this uh, if if there's no reason for, for it to be there okay so when you get to those bars around uh, 85, <coughs> yes, that's right. You can just keep your right hand there doing nothing. Um, and then you take up, you can take it up again uh, on bar 93 to one, on bar 91, where the descending line of the basses uh, starts. Fa, mi, re, re. Do, re, mi, la. <coughs> what that does, um, fa, ri, ra, ri, ra, ri, ram, ta, ri, ra, ri, ra, ri, ta, ri, ra, ri, ra, ri, ri, ra, ri. And see, there's no reason to be very big. You can still be small, even if it's a forte. The dynamic is already there. The orchestra is already playing forte. They're not going to play um, softer all of a sudden, or they never go, <laughs> let alone stop. What that does is that you're already in position here for bar 95, when you get to bar 95. <laughs> <coughs> if you're in doubt um, when, when, when you're trying it out so break it break it down slow it down and break it up uh, in, in, in two different sections so forget let's go back to bar 85 for instance forget for a second the the right hand only the left hand Ooh. Fa -ri -ra -ri -ra -ri -ra. Right hand, what does it need to do here? Nothing. So 
Since you're arriving from a forty before, pim pim pam pim pam pam pim pam pam pim pam pim pam pim. That's the downbeat that reinforces with the timpani, <coughs> with the timpani hit, reinforces the forty, right? Pim pam pim pam pim pam pim pam pim. Then you need to do nothing. Just keep it here, steady. Use the left hand. Ooh, ta di ra di ra di ra. Ta di ra di ra di ra. Click ta di ra di ra. And here you can go down with two, for instance, with two, and we using the, the the right hand. When you switch to the right hand, you can drop the left hand. Ta di ra di ra di ra. Ta di ra di ra di ra. Ta di ra di ra. Pim 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 pim. Da -di -ra -di -ra, -pa -di -pa -di -ra -di -ra -pa -di. Now, there is another thing. Um, when you um, have to give a cue to somebody, like let's say you want to cue with your left hand, you want to cue the oboe and the bassoon uh, on bar 90, 96, 97, on bar 97, right? Um, your hand needs to be in position. Uh, that means that you need to get there before the event. If you don't do that, uh, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, starting from bar 93. You get there too late and you get there not in the same tempo of the music. So it kind of disrupts, uh, it interferes with the music itself. What you want to do is to get there, to move there ahead of time, so when the time comes to give the cue, you're already there and ready. Slower, sorry. My hand, my arm, is moving in the same tempo in the bar before, one bar before the cue. So when the cue comes, I'm already there. <coughs> uh, uh, the, the, the players already got an indication in some ways, and, uh, uh, and, and they're ready to go, and I'm ready to go to cue them on that specific bar. Yeah? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button right below this video and ring the bell so that you will get notified every time a new video comes out. Let me know again in the comments what you think about this particular video, if you have any suggestions for future ones, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of this series. In the meanwhile, please continue to enjoy music and be well. Ciao!